To the west coast of the island now, where a small community is bracing itself for a wall of Japanese tsunami debris. The district of Euclid has blocked off a one-kilometer stretch of beach, the largest in the province, to collect ocean debris. And local government officials are doing this alone with no money or logistical support from the province. The CTV Scott Cunningham shows us the experts are now searching the shoreline for signs that a giant wave of debris is on the way. Yep. Plastic bottle, Japanese writing. The signs are everywhere. Two steps off right onto the monitoring plot and right away Japanese uh, writing on the, on the bottles. Another Japanese bottle. In the first 10 minutes on Euculid's ocean debris monitoring plot, two significant discoveries. Trash a long way from home. Uh, Asian writing on it. So. Experts here say it's the first wave of a coming storm. We're thinking the debris field will make it to Euclid shores around April. Pushed into the ocean by the huge earthquake and tsunami in Japan, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Association says tons of Japanese debris is headed towards BC. And this small oceanside community may be writing the book on how to be ready. This uh, larger buoy showed up about a couple weeks ago. The community has the largest scientific debris monitoring plot in the province and currently is the only site cataloging each item found. As the district of Yakulit takes the lead in British Columbia on tracking Japanese tsunami debris like this, they aren't doing it alone. Neighboring communities and Parks Canada are also on board. This is a uh, fishing float uh, belonging to a uh, Japanese uh, tuna fishing boat. Parks Canada staff have yet to link their Japanese discoveries to the tsunami, but say the influx of foreign material in the past year cannot be a fluke. The West Coast Park has a cleanup plan, but they say the real research is being done in Euclid. Euclid and Carla have really uh, been doing that homework. They've done a lot of preparation. They're collecting really useful information. Green dumpsters are the final piece of the district's plan. Debris is being stored. If necessary, it will be returned to Japan. But if not, the crush of floating rubble could be sustainably dealt with right here. Now we're going to be looking at how we can process that material and prevent it from getting into our landfill. With all the signs around them, the district of Yakulet will wait, prepare, and hopefully be ready when the real debris comes ashore. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Yakulet.